So who is this Banksy? Why is he so famous? Why does he hide his identity? In this video we are going to explore these and many other things you may not know about Banksy. A look from the 90s until now. Sunday Painter. Please click and subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget the little bell so you will be the first when we have an inspirational idea. So let's take a look at this famous graffiti artist. Starting off, Banksy is anonymous and has stayed that way for decades. An England-based street artist, political activist, and film director, active since the 1990s. His satirical street art and subversive epigrams combine dark humor with graffiti executed in a distinctive stenciling style. His works of political and social commentary have been featured on streets, walls, and bridges throughout the world. Banksy displays his art on publicly visible surfaces such as walls and self-built physical prop pieces. He no longer sells photographs or reproductions of his street graffiti, but his public installations are regularly resold, often even by removing the walls they were painted on. A small number of Banksy's works are officially, non-publicly, sold through pest control. What is pest control? It's a handling service acting on behalf of the artist. Art dealers and property owners have been criticized endlessly for tearing apart walls to remove and sell Banksy works, not only because they profit off of an uncompensated and non-consenting artist, but also for preventing the public from seeing and enjoying the artist's work in the context it was intended to be seen. So many people knock off his work that Banksy had to create Pest Control, a site that authenticates works that are indeed by the artist, so collectors and would-be collectors don't become the victims of fraud. Considering that Banksy is anonymous, there is no way to answer exactly how he makes money off his art, or how much Banksy makes, many online sources estimate a whopping $20 million per year, but just taking a few educated guesses here. Pest Control is now the sole point of sale for new work from Banksy, he is not represented by any other gallery. If your property ever got banskied you run into problems yourself. Hordes of people want to see it. Graffiti artists want to tag it, and some people want to destroy it. Here is a story of a homeowner that want to sell their house, but no one wanted it with the graffiti on the side. When it was found out it was an early Banksy, the phone rang off the hook with large offers. The problem was that artists started tagging it plus other things happened to the work which put it into runes. The house sold for what it was worth and not the destroyed Banksy on the side. Banksy seems to like pranks. In New York, Banksy pulled a prank on unsuspecting passers-by in Central Park by setting up an unannounced art stall with dozens of 100% original signed canvases. The booth was set up as spray art, and everyone thought it was cheap knockoffs for $60 a piece. It was manned by a person who seemed completely uninterested in selling the works. The art stall opened for one day in Central Park, with an inventory that could have value into the hundreds of thousands of dollars, how many people stopped to buy something? Over a period of seven hours just three people bought a total of eight canvases, one of whom managed to haggle the price down 50%. Total for the day, $480. One lucky man who said he was decorating his new house in Chicago just won the lottery and unknowingly walked away with four original Banksies. But don't get your hopes up, according to the artist's website this was a one-day affair. The process. Because of the secretive nature of Banksy's work and identity, it is uncertain what techniques he uses to generate the images and the stencils, though it is assumed he uses computers for some images due to the photographic quality of much of his work. He mentions in his book Wall and Peace that as he was starting to do graffiti, he was always either caught or could never finish the art in one sitting. He claims he changed to stenciling while hiding from the police under a rubbish lorry, when he noticed the stenciled serial number. He then devised a series of intricate stencils to minimize time and overlapping of the color. In the broader art world, stencils are traditionally hand-drawn or printed onto sheets of acetate or card, before being cut out by hand. This technique allows artists to paint quickly to protect their anonymity. There is dispute in the street art world over the legitimacy of stencils, with many artists criticizing their use as cheating. In 2018, Banksy created a piece as it was being auctioned. The piece, titled, Love is in the bin, was originally the painting, Girl with Balloon, before it was shredded at Sotheby's. While the bidding was going on, a shredder was activated from within the frame, and the piece was partially shredded, thus creating a new piece. 
Sotheby's London sold the painting at auction on October 5, 2018, at an artist record price of £1,042,000, then equivalent to US$1,366,672. Within seconds of the gavel dropping, the canvas began sliding out of the bottom of the frame and shredding itself to the audible sound of a siren and the surprise exclamations of attendees. The shredder stopped when the canvas was about halfway through, Banksy has said this stop was unplanned and that he intended to shred the entire thing. The work was housed in a deep frame and was plugged in to facilitate built-in electrical lights, which powered the hidden paper shredder as well. Sotheby's said they had no foreknowledge of the mechanism. The work was renamed by Banksy's representatives from Girl with Balloon to Love is in the Bin. Market watchers speculated that the self-destruction would increase the artwork's value. Sotheby's released a statement that called it the first artwork in history to have been created during an auction. It was reported that the artist uploaded a video of the event onto Instagram, showing the construction of the shredding mechanism and frame, but deleted the post. Banksy has released another video indicating that the painting was intended to be shredded completely, showing the painting being shredded with the words, in rehearsals it worked every time. So in conclusion, there is so much more that I could have put in this simple documentary maybe more for another time, but the last piece of the puzzle. Who is Banksy? What does he look like? Well all I could find is this. Banksy did a taped interview in 2003 ahead of his turf war exhibition but then lay in a vault for nearly two decades. Recently he may have been caught by accident while working. Here are the photos that are circulating. For me I hope he stays a secret. I found he is not a greedy artist and he does stand for change. He has helped people by giving his work freely making the world a better place. I think it would be nice to know him personally, he seems like a nice person and we need more like him in our lives. Hope this give you a glimpse into his world and change how you process your view of art.